with power. You're going to do it through children, teaching children. And as those children grow up, they become activists. They infiltrate teachers, administrations, government. And that's how you change the world. And the thing is, is that for their end goal to be realized, that's where they need to hit. It seems, like, it seems like maybe with the Antifa group, uh, maybe they've kind of gone too far because you, you even see folks uh, on the left side of the spectrum saying, uh, no, wait a minute, you know, all this violence and folks dressed up in masks. I mean, the idea that we've heard a lot of since Donald Trump was elected is that people on, on the fringe on the left, a lot of progressives, are saying, you know what? Some people don't deserve the benefits of the First Amendment because essentially what they're doing is, well, they're advocating fascism and they're advocating violence and so on. And so you see this movement that actually silence people. And folks are scratching their heads and they're saying, what about you? Didn't the ECLU stand up and, and say yes to the Nazis uh, marching in, in a predominantly Jewish community, Skokie, because we have to protect the First Amendment? And it seems like there's a real strong reaction ag against this movement. So. Who knows? Maybe, maybe we're going to see some progress in terms of uh, supporting the First Amendment on a bipartisan way. Well, and this is even more the reason I want to stand up, because Antifa, bizarrely, doesn't stand for being anti-fascism. They are the very epitome of fascism. I mean, to shut down free speech under the guise of hate speech, that is fascism. It's, it's shutting people down. You don't want to do that. It is a very, very dangerous road to go down. And I'm going to continue to speak up about it. Even if Hollywood thinks of me as a complete pariah, um, I will still try to make my own art and make my own work. And if, if I'm not involved in the central part of the Hollywood machine, which I'm not right now, which is probably why I, I felt compelled to speak up. I mean, you know, there's plenty of actors and crew and things that are kind of they're working for networks or studios, and there's no way they can speak up right now because they would be ostracized and or fired. We're talking with actor Julian Davis, and, uh, you know, Julian, there are a few people that have been unabashedly right of center in their media appearances. I'm thinking of people like John Voight, uh, to some degree Tim Allen. What has their yes. experience been? Have you communicated with folks like that? What, what's their experience? You know, I haven't because I'm, I'm really, I mean, um, I'm really not on their level. Um, you know, in fact, a lot of the haters have said, oh, who is this person, Julianne Davis, you know, some D-list celebrity. And, um, and they're right, you know. I mean, who am I? Um, but those people, they are very, very established in Hollywood. And those people can be open about their conservatism. And the studio heads and the network, head, network heads know that they can make their money with them. And they hold their nose, you know, allow them to sign contracts, and then they look lovingly at their bank balance. So, you know, those people are safe. I'm actually talking more about the little guy, and not just in Hollywood, but all over the country because we've become so incredibly polarized. And there's such hate coming from the left for anybody who's conservative and or a Trump supporter that basically that hate is shutting down the discussion and the debate, which really we have to keep that open. Um, you know, and, and I'm going to get on the case of people that are Trump supporters and conservatives as well to say, you know what, we can't hate them back. We have to be open to discussing our ideas. We, we, we have to do that and so that we can understand each other and so that we can move forward and so that, in my opinion, we can blow huge holes in the propaganda and the lies that they have been told to believe. And, and you know, because people contact me, I've had a few people that are in the industry that are still in the closet letting me know. Um, but, um, you know, I would say there's a lot of people that they just keep quiet about it because it's easier. It's easier that way. And you know what? I'm not going to blame them because if it's their entire livelihood, um, it's, it's scary. I mean, you know, if you're going to be fired from your job and you, you're not making any money versus the money that you were making, you've got a mortgage to pay for and a car payment and kids to feed, then obviously you're not going to speak up. And, and, I, and I don't blame them. I don't blame those people. I really don't. I mean, if I'm going to be the scapegoat and whatever to kind of 
just at least open the door to kind of pave the way to say, hey, you know, we're all making art, and and in, in art, it should be all about freedom of expression and freedom of speech and diversity. And, and this is not diverse. It's not diverse thought, is it? Well, I absolutely agree with you, uh, the actress uh, Julianne Davis. Uh, now you can check her out on foxnews.com with the piece we've been talking about. Uh, uh, she of Eyes Wide to Shut fame. Thank you so much for sharing part of your holiday with us. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for giving me some time. Thanks. You have, you have a great day. That was 921 on Top Radio 7.